Uh, when President Joe Biden arrived back in Washington, D.C. today from Delaware, he walked right up to reporters and made a statement before anyone even started asking questions. The president made it clear what he thinks about Russian President Vladimir Putin. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, good evening to you. Usually after he lands, reporters will beckon President Biden to come on over and talk to them and take some questions. Well, today, President Biden, when he landed at Fort McNair, just a few miles from the White House, he went straight towards reporters. He could not wait to speak out, especially after seeing those terrible reports of civilians being slaughtered in Ukraine. President Joe Biden tells reporters he had one comment to make before starting the day. You may remember I got criticized for calling Putin a war criminal. Well, the truth of the matter is so it happened in Bukhara. This warrants him, he is a war criminal. The president said what's happening in Bukha, Ukraine, where this mass grave was discovered, is outrageous, and that Vladimir Putin needs to be held accountable. But we have to gather the information. We have to continue to provide Ukraine with the weapons they need to continue the fight. And we have to gather all the detail so this can be an actual, have a war crime trial. This guy is brutal. The U.S. State Department adds, The world has been shocked by the horrifying images of the Kremlin's brutality in Bucha and other cities near Kyiv. Meanwhile, big trucks arrive at the White House, not the trucker's convoy recently seen driving around town. Instead, the backdrop for a ceremony the White House calls the Biden administration's unprecedented actions to expand and improve trucking jobs. And this iconic American industry is getting harder and harder to raise a family with dignity and pride that you deserve. According to the White House, more truckers have been hired, but turnover is high, and financial burdens of leasing, gas, and insurance force many to quit. We're going to keep our foot on the gas to deliver for the drivers who deliver for us every single day. Now, after that trucking event this afternoon, I was able to shout a question to President Biden. He was about 100 feet away from me or so. He was heading back into the White House, so I had to shout pretty loudly. I basically said, that Pope Francis may, may go to Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine, and I asked if the White House would be for that, and the president shouted back, I'm quoting here, for his safety, whatever he can do, he's a fine, fine man, end quote. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.